Hello, Robert McCoopers here. Before we go any further on this video here about this topic, please write this down. This book here will take you a lot deeper than what I can, okay, about this topic. And it's going to explain why we're at where we're at. So please write this down and get this book and share it with everybody you possibly can. It's The Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffith, A Second Look at the Federal Reserve. So without further ado, let's go into my presentation and I'll just skim the very tip of the tip of the iceberg about this topic with you, okay? So without further ado, let's just start skimming. This is where it all started, okay? And it started way back, I believe it was around 1910, I think they might have started of it, but it did not go into law until 1913. But they did go to this place here, and this is a building on Jekyll Island, uh, off of an island called Jekyll Island off of Georgia. Okay, and this is the place where it all happened, and you could go there and verify it for yourself. This is no conspiracy. Well, it's a conspiracy, but, you know, it is factual. It's not a theory. You go there and find out for yourself, even. Here's an individual that was involved with it. Mr. Monopoly Man himself, Mr. Chase J.P. Morgan. Yes, he was involved. And let's go through and look at some of the other stars of this uh, conspiracy. Benjamin Strong, another main, hit, main man in, in this hit against the American people. Frank A. Vanderlip, another individual. Senator Nelson W. Aldrich. The senator even provided the train and he provided all the political pull from within. Yes, see, the founding fathers was right that it was going to be from within, not abroad. And this is this book verifies it, and what we're going through today even verifies it even more with our monetary system. Paul M. Warburg, the mass banker, master European mastermind, he brought his uh, style of bank into our country, and he, he should have never brought it over here. They should have kept it over there in Europe as far as I'm concerned. So let's go on to the next. This is what we have today. It is a Federal Reserve note, you notice here. And if you notice, of course, the United States of America, it's printed. It looks pretty and all and everything. This note is legal tenter. And I want you to remember it says legal tenter and for all debts, public and private. You know? And that's what it is. It is what it is. Uh, it doesn't guarantee, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's fiat. There's nothing back in it. Nothing guaranteeing its value whatsoever, but the belief among the mass that it holds value, and it's monopolized, it's got everybody controlled, believing that it's something that stores value, when in reality, since the existence, since the act in 1913, this note has lost over 96% of its purchasing power. It's one of the most win wicked Hidden taxes of all called inflation. So, you heard that word before inflation. It's not normal. Uh, basically, money is supposed to serve the people. It's not supposed, the people's not supposed to serve the money makers. But that's how it is now. That we're serving the money makers. Money is merely supposed to be a medium exchange among commerce, among us fellow Americans. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. And this instrument does not do this for us whatsoever, okay? Why? Because it can't hold value. If it can't hold value, it don't serve no purpose for us, not one idol. So, you know, a couple years ago, I was up in New York, and I was going through my father-in-law's house. God bless his soul, but he, he passed away, and we're going through his stuff. And, uh, and my sister-in-law came across, and she found this $5 United States Treasury note, which is not a Federal Reserve note. And I'll explain. I'll even show it to you here. But see, this is a Federal Reserve note. This note is legal tender, right, for all debts, public and private. 
So this is what I gave her in exchange for that. She, she was going to buy a, a pizza with this, of all things. But look at this. This is national currency. It's by the Secretary of the United States of America. And it's from the Union National Bank of Scatton, Pennsylvania. Will pay to the bear on demand. What does that mean? It means you could have took that note in and exchanged it and gotten silver or gold with it. That's right. You can't do that with Federal Reserve notes. See, this this note actually was stable. It hold value. This is what they took away from the people. And this is why we're in bad shape as we are now. Look over here. It is redeemable, uh, lawful money. See that? Redeemable, lawful money of the United States. Okay? It's not legal tender. So here we go. You got a little research to do. Find out what legal tender is versus lawful money. And you come to the conclusion and ask yourself, what do you think we'd be really better off with? Because after all, it is your labor and your time that you're exchanging it for. Remember that. So, please rate this video, uh, leave a comment, share it, spread the word. God bless. Have a great day.